Welcome to Petricor. This is a short game that, from what I can tell, seems to be more interested in letting you kind of just relax and take in the environment, instead of challenging you. The name of the game itself, Petricor, actually means basically the smell of rain. So it definitely seems to be a game where you're intended to stop and smell the roses, or smell the rain, as it were. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, it is available as a pay-what-you-want sort of thing, and I'll have a link to it in the description. Let's begin. So I've got this handy dandy little red umbrella that I can unfurl at my whim. I just like the sound that it makes. And as much as I like the rain, apparently the rain, or at least the water, does not like me. Because if I put this away and then walk under this, I become discombobulated or whatever and teleport back. So, let's keep this on for now. Although the rain itself doesn't seem to be harmful. So there's pages all over the place. Which, since they've been out in the rain, are of course very wet. But we can go ahead and dry them off. So at the moment, this doesn't mean much to me, but later on, it will. I really love the sound design, and the art too. Everything's just very fluid and nice looking and nice sounding. From the click of the umbrella, to the music, to the soft sound of the rain. Crackle of the fire. Okay, so these pages appear to be telling me how to jump up to something. Jump up to a ledge. Not really sure why I needed a piece of paper to tell me how to do that, but I guess I've lost my memory or something? I don't know. Ah, oh, look at that. There's different footstep sounds depending on what you're walking on. So clickety-clack for this stone here, and then the sound of dirt over here. Looks like maybe the next thing I'll learn is how to get up this rope. Hmm. 
So I can't jump because the water is in the way. And I can't jump while I have my umbrella out. Let's go see what this page says. What is that showing me? Looks like I'm grabbing something. Oh. Oh, okay. can't support my weight. Well, that's handy. Is that a... is that a gigantic number seven? Nah, it's probably not a number. Probably more of just a symbol. Although I suppose a number itself is a symbol, is it not? So all of these fires are out, which I think is what I'm seeing on top of that huge mushroom and also on top of that floating thing. I think those are like logs that I can use to light a fire, but this one seems to be going, so let's just use this one for now. Click-click. Is that perhaps for how to go across these things? Oh no, they're showing me how to run. Can I run across these? Ah! So if you go fast enough, you can get past them. Okay, I'm guessing that will allow me to light a fire. Well, let's actually get back up here and let's go across this. Looks like I'm 
What am I doing with my hand? Is it like... Launching a fireball or something? Hmm. I think there was a fire I could light over here, right? Yeah. Oh, oh. In that case, I think I better go back here. So this looks like a log to me. Am I collecting the logs to make another fire or something? This thing is powered by the fire. Look at it, it's magnificent. I just hope it doesn't come down on my head. This looks like a line of gas or something. What does that connect to? Oh, it's blocking my way. Hmm. I think the water is going to stop it, though. Maybe I need to block the water. Let's see. Uh, before I try this, let me try standing on the opposite side so I don't burn myself. Yeah, yeah, I need to block it. There you go, little flame. Oh, so I have two out of three. So I'm missing a piece. Oh, there's a third piece. Is this like a, a great bonfire that I need to get going? I think it is. So all this stuff is powered by flame. I think that's showing me how to use my umbrella to go up and up and down the ropes or maybe just down
Yeah. Okay. I think that means I have to go back, because I know there was a rope back there. Back a ways. Because there's nothing else here, right? Yeah, I can't get up there. Yeah. Look at that glorious fire. I love the sound as the water hits your umbrella. Yeah, the rope is above me. Ooh. This is a long climb. Storm's getting worse. Hello. Hi. I'm just gonna go now.
would seem to be the end. The, g <laughs> the game just closed. Well, that was not a very uplifting ending, was it? I wasn't quite expecting that. Everything beforehand was really... Really just quite nice, but then the creepy owl showed up, and then everything got bad, and then it seemed like she just... died. In service to awakening some ancient... thing. I don't know what that was. I really enjoyed it, though. Just all the little details were so well done. Especially the sound design and the art. Really just lovely art. And really especially the sound design. The sound of the rain and the, the putting away and taking out your umbrella. And the wind and the crackle of the fire and the way your footsteps sound different on different surfaces. Just all those little details just felt good. Yeah, that was quite good. No idea what happened at the end, other than, other than it didn't seem to be a very happy ending for our main character. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me play through Petricor. Once again, it's available as a pay-what-you-want sort of thing, and I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Thank you for watching.